Libra and welcome to your Mercury retrograde update. Um, we're going to be looking at the energy for this uh, stronger period of Mercury retrograde going into the shadow period, which will be in the middle of June. So it's kind of like a June reading, but uh, I would say that it is um, Mercury retrograde. Uh, we got to see like what, what we're going to be dealing with. Um, this is a general reading and will not resonate with every single person. We're looking at the sun, moon, and rising signs of the Libra Collective. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check out your other signs or you can get a personal reading. And uh, there will always be suggested videos at the end. If at any time you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. This way you get notified as soon as I post something new. Let's get right into the reading. These have been shorter readings. Some of them are very, very straightforward, and some of them are not. So we have a, a strong period of Mercury retrograde until June 3rd, and then it turns around, and then we have the shadow period, and that goes until the middle of June. So um, I'm going to be going on vacation, so I'm trying to get this out. We'll be doing a new moon reading, so wait for that to come out too. should be tonight because a new moon is tonight. Okay. Oh, it's actually, I think, the 30th, but we'll do it tonight and um, work on that. I think it's tomorrow. Okay, let's let's go ahead and see what Libra has in store for them. Okay, Libra. Wow, we got lots of upside down cards. What is this saying? So something that you've been working towards is going to be coming to an end. That's good. Um, it's, it's fulfilling some kind of soul contract or some kind of life, like the part of your, it's like a part of your plan in your life. So um, let's see the, and it's something that you've been waiting for that's going to give you a lot of abundance. So something that has been holding back your happiness, holding back your abundance. Um, that's what I'm getting from those cards. And this is what they look like. They're upside down. The person is working, but, um, and there's other meanings to this card. But when I threw those down, that was the first things that I hear. And if, if I hear it, I know that's the way that it is. So um, that's what they told me. Okay. So, um. We have some more upside down cards, but we have a new beginning. So, you, you know, I think you've been waiting for someone to offer you some love or someone to come into your life um, that has a whole lot of love for you, uh, but they they just haven't done it yet. So, um, and it made you question your own judgments and your uh, like the reliability of your own judgments. It's making you question your. Um, it, that's basically what they're saying. I, I was trying to see if I can get more, but they're saying the reliability of it. It's like the reliability of your intuition. So, but we do have a new beginning coming in because there's a sort of truth. There's some sort of breakthrough that's about to happen. Uh, this retrograde is going to make a breakthrough happen. That's what's going on here. Okay, let's see what else we have. I'm going to shuffle and see what else we can get. What else can you tell Libra about what you're talking about right here? So, something that uh, you've been working hard, uh, maybe you've been working spiritually on it. Um, maybe you've been doing, I don't know, you've been doing something. Lots of meticulous work to make this go the way that you'd like it to go. Okay. Um, all right. So, it once was surrounding a lot of pain. I think that the person who has the King of Swords energy could be an air, air sign, an air energy. That's It doesn't have to actually be an air sign, but that's the air energy. But air signs are Gemini, Libra, yourself, or Aquarius. Those are, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. But somebody who has been not wanting to see the truth, somebody who has, um, I'm hearing having self-imposed restrictions and victim mentality, although that's not what this card means, but that's definitely what I'm hearing. Um, and that person had uh, has been protecting themselves and not really letting you in on their feelings and letting you in their world sometimes. Sometimes you feel like you're completely not even in line with this person anymore. You've been waiting for them to make the stupid choices <laughs> is how you're feeling about it. Like just make the stupid choices so we can move forward and plan the way that we want this to go. Okay. Um, and bringing in the communication, the strong communication, the communication that's going to create a foundation. Um, the It's the highest card in the deck because uh, it's a king for communication. Um, it's not talking about the actual person, the king. It's talking about the energy of the king. And the energy of the king is the soul connection. It's the desire and it's also communication. 
So, um, and, and it has a lot of happiness around it because it has a lot of yellow. So it's something that's making you really happy if you'll, if they'll just communicate and, um, it has a fire energy in it as well, well, which is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So it could be that as well. Okay, so let's move on and see what else we can get. Um, and I don't know if this is a lover, if this is a relationship you're already in, if this is a relationship that you're not in yet, or something like that. But let's see what else we can get. Actually, I'm going to pull some cards on like advice or what can we do about this energy now that we're in the retrograde because the retrogrades are going to bring up all this past stuff it's going to bring up um and and it's supposed to it's you know it's it's like our lives have to slow down so that we can bring up this stuff so that we can take a look at it and and just make decisions about our life and say do i really want it to go this way do i really want my life this way do i really want to not have this person in my life do i really you know something like that that's kind of what i'm hearing do you know do i really want to con keep continuing in the direction that i'm going in what else do we have Okay, somebody who has broken all the cups in your relationship, it feels like. It feels like they have broken you down. They've broken down the love that you've tried to give them. Every time you give them a cup, they break it. it that's the feeling. Like, here's a cup, and they break it. They throw it, you know? And you're like, oh, my God, I know that you have love for me. I can feel it on a soul level, and yet you just keep, like, slamming the door on my face whenever I try to connect with you. Um, and, but, but here's the thing, they really do want happiness with you. And because of that, they're having a transformation that's going on right now. They're starting to see the light. They're seeing the positivity. So this guy who looks like the, he's the death card, but he's, he's death, right? But look at the sun behind him and look at the cards that we have. We have the, these cups that are broken. Okay. It's like the relationship that's broken, but they really do want happiness with you. And because they love you so much and because they want happiness with you so much, they're willing to follow the light. They're willing to, to go towards the light, you know? And it's interesting, there, um, I'm, I'm hearing that when people die, you know, we're told, we're told to go to the light. Why? What's the light? The light is heaven. So this person has decided to stop following the darkness and to go towards the light and go towards heaven. Heaven is with you. Very good. Okay, that's beautiful. Anything else you want to tell Libra before we check in with their lover? Because I know that some people wanted to hear about their lover. Because right now we're talking about the soul journey, right? We're talking about... Um, what people wanted to talk about. So here we go. The Queen of Wands. So we have the King of Wands. Now we have the Queen of Wands. So now we have a pair. Now we have a match. Um, okay. Somebody feels like they, they really kind of didn't see this Queen of Wands. And now they're starting to have courage and determination. They're filled with passion and joy. They're kind of upset with themselves that they've allowed it to get to this point in your relationship and they are starting to um, work on their manifestation skills they're looking at the financial opportunities and then they're they're ready to develop this um this life with you they're ready to kind of to like the transformation the development okay so let's get um before i pull some like straight up uh advice let's pull up some how does this person thinking about you, Libra? Um, what, what do they want to say to you? If they, you know, what's happening that they're not, what are they not saying? And I'm not saying on the soul level, because everybody loves each other on the soul level. I'm talking about like in this lifetime that we're living right now, what is Libra's person not telling them that they want to tell them? That if they... Um, if they knew that they were going to behave the way that they behave now and it was going to turn out the way that it did based on their crappy behaviors, they wouldn't have done it that way, okay? And they um, they don't want to like necessarily start over. They want to start from where you are and they want to grow from it. And they're saying that you didn't see their tears. So here's the thing. They, they wouldn't treat, they wouldn't do it all over again in the way that they did you wrong, okay? 
and um, but they don't want to start over either because they feel like you guys have both learned a lot through these lessons. It's kind of like now that we're mature and we're older, let's move forward because I did cry a lot about this. They don't feel like they have as much to lose as they felt like they had before, and they definitely do not want to let you go. Um, and they're saying that um, that like they were holding on because they needed some sort of security or they're trying to feel secure in something, and um, they don't need that anymore. So um, yeah, that's really good. So I want to I want to pull one more thing, and then we're going to finish up with this reading. This is really a great reading. These are all the cards that gave me all that information. Okay, um, let's look at what can what can Libra do? Like, what's the advice? for them right now why this person's having their transformation. I was just talking to another sign about that. You know, um, I can't remember. I think it was maybe cancer. And it was like, you, you got to wait for somebody to transform. you got to wait for somebody to have their tower moment, you know. And, and that's hard. Because especially if you're going through your own tower moments. But especially if you're not, you're just kind of sitting there waiting for someone to have their, like, epiphany. <laughs> and their tower moment about you. You know what I mean? Like, how long is that going to take? <laughs> Okay, um, don't fall into temptation. Make sure that you're, you're connecting in with your higher chakra, your crown chakra. Make sure that you're connecting in with spirit. Use your frankincense essential oil. If you don't have any, get some in the description box down below. Um, and just know that this isn't necessarily a new beginning. This is a new start from where you guys are right now. Um, you know, it's like, you don't want to erase everything. It's not a new beginning with a new person. It's the same person, but it is a, a, a new start with that person from where you are right now, not from the beginning. Okay? All right. So just kind of understand that. Like, we're not going to be going back in time. I know we're multidimensional. We can actually do that. We can pray for ourselves when we're ch children. And you can pray for your, you know, you can, there's so many things that are really cool that you can do. But in this particular case... Um, where you are right now, the age that you are on this planet, where you're going linear, um, it's okay to think linear at this point and say, okay, well, um, we're, we're going to start from what we have right now with what we built, with what we've learned, what we know. All right, um, Libra, if you like this reading, you're entertained some way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. On the screen is some suggested videos. Have a great day. Bye.